our new recording secretary. Some of us know her. Uh, some of us probably don't, but you yeah. introduced yourself. I, Lisa. I, I, she gets around. Thank you. I, I, I get around. Oh, no. yeah. I, live in, um, I live in Harvard now, and I've done board meetings, mostly for schools, for a long time. I was thinking about it the other day, a very long time. A lot of different school boards, a lot of different committees. I find it very interesting because I work in, I'm a school psychologist, so I work in the business. Um, but, but I've done the Cal Select Board in the past, and um, I'm back. We are so, so select board language is a little different for me than education language, so I really have to be on my A game to keep up with what you're doing. Well, we, we can help you win. Well, yeah. yeah, we can I'm help you. Arguably, we need a school psychologist. <laughs> right. I'm glad, I was going to say, glad you're not a board psychologist, uh, so maybe that would be good too. Thank you. Thank you very much. We really yeah. appreciate this. Having struggled with this, Denise especially, um, for what, two months? Hasn't it been two months? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yay, thank you, Lisa. So I know it's not, it's not easy. I know. So it's, it's certainly easy. not easy to make decisions and take part conversations. This is true. Nope. So. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Any, any uh, items of public, any public comment? Neil, you're here for an item on the agenda. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So no public comment. Any additions or actual changes to the agenda? We wanted to add and talk a little bit about the Moscow Woods Road yeah. Bridge Bachman failure. Yeah. With that. So I spoke with Rick earlier and said we can we can that can go under road trip. It can go under we road report. Rick is kind of saying we've got a fair amount to talk about. Under the I only gave him ten minutes for a road report, so so, <laughs> so we'll be doing. He's it. raising his hand and saying maybe we'll need a little bit more than that. Alfred, can we speak in shorthand? Do you think? Uh, it's actually pretty clear. The warrants are here. Denise, they're circulating. They're circulating. They're Great. Thank you very much. We owe Roger. Thank you for taking them up for us. Thank you, Roger. Okay. Do you have a All right. Yeah. Consent agenda. into the folder for everyone is the, the minutes from the informational meeting on February 19th. So I am on my own saying we can't do that one tonight. We can do it next time. Yeah, and Katie actually took those notes. Yeah, so, so I'm, I'm sure, sure we have good. them. Right. Yeah. Uh, does anyone else have something they want off the consent item agenda or quick, quick questions about consent agenda? How does, so when, when you make the motion, do you make a motion Let's say I was going to make a motion to uh, I make a motion to approve the consent agenda exactly. items. Yeah, I just I move the consent agenda. Okay, okay. minus the informational yep. February nineteenth informational meeting. Is that all you have to do? I already pulled that off. So when you say you move the consent agenda, we will consider that not part of it. Okay, so it's, yeah. it's already off. Okay. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. So someone just has to say mm -hmm. I move the consent agenda. Okay, so moved. Second. I guess we don't have discussion on this consent Well, agenda. you can ask. There's no discussion. No questions? Yeah. All right. All in favor, say aye. 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 Woo. Okay. Yay. Okay. Neil, next up is you. Neil's here to talk to us about the Taos Shade Tree Preservation Plan. Yeah, so the state passed this um, new word in the statute, and part of it was that if we want any say in trees getting cut in our right of ways, we need to have a shade tree preservation plan. And they spelled out what needs to be in it. And I've drafted one with the help of the Conservation Commission. And um, there's a process for getting it passed. It has to come before the public at a warned hearing. And um, so that's the next step. So I'm hoping that the... Is it a select board that has to hold the hearing? It's unclear, but that was kind of... I think that that's the way it probably is supposed to happen. Yeah. yeah. I, I did actually pull the statute. Okay. Because why not? Yeah. It says the tree warden and legislative body, hmm. which is us. Which is us shall hold a minimum of one public hearing, which this is I- This is it, this is it. I will, no, well, no, this is not, not it. Not. We gotta schedule it. We have to schedule it. And we, I have to make it available, and it's gotta be available for 10 days 
you know, notice you mean? Look at yeah. the, at the notice. What's that? The notice or the um, the, the actual document or the plan. The draft yeah. Or the plan. Yeah. Okay. Um, that I put in tonight's folder, so you know where it is. And I would, the, I, what I was going to add is I would interpret that to mean that we together hold one here and not each. Yes, that yeah. was my interpretation. Yeah. Okay. Well, that would make sense. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. So my hope was that, was that it would kind of be under the select board, get to use your recording secretary, mm -hmm. and um, we could schedule it just uh, whenever it works for you far enough out that we can have that 10-day notice that people can do it right now. Um, but I'm happy to kind of lead the meeting and, you know, mm -hmm. talk through the day. Thank you. Denise, questions? Um, have you heard any feedback already? I mean, I know the conservation knows what's going on. The conservation you know, is, it, is it even out, is my question. Is it out to the public, this draft? No, um, I don't think it's changed since you last saw it, but it's not out to the public, so I have to somehow make, and I wanted to ask you guys kind of the best way to do that, do I put it on a website or make a... Well, we could. We actually have, here, take this. What Part of what we ratified tonight was our places for formal notice. Oh, great. And I, those are from the minutes of March 14th. But there's where, that's how we notify the public of the hearing, and I think that's a reasonable way to provide the plan as well. So I could actually just put, tack the plan up at those places to a hard copy for people right. to look mm -hmm. at. And we can yeah. get Jeremy or somebody to post the... Post it on the website. On the website. The, yeah, the, um, whatever you call it, the plan. Yeah. Put it on the front page of the website. Does this say anything about... Um, what was I thinking? Something about this. Oh, do we have to post the actual notice and document in a newspaper at all? Didn't say anything, Does it about say anything that here? In there. I don't think so. It will be easy reading the statute. Um, I, one of the questions that I recently found myself pondering is what does hearing mean? Because we have different kinds of hearing. And, and I asked the town attorney that question, and he said this kind of a hearing is one that occurs under the auspices of the legislative body pondering a policy. But this is called an ordinance, right? This, this is not, an ordinance. It's not an ordinance. That's what it says. Let's go through. There's. It says adopt. Your to adopt an ordinance. It is not inconsistent with this chapter. They, so they, I think they're talking about a separate thing. There's a shade tree plan, and then, and then we can have an ordinance after that that implements it. So it's called the Shade Tree Plan. Yes, yeah, Shade Tree yeah. Preservation Plan. This is it. Is the thing that, this, that we've written. This is B section. But then it says something there about an ordinance. And then there's an ordinance piece that's separate but related, which we kind of like haven't figured out yet. <laughs> but presumably the ordinance would have stuff about. Um, Enforcement and, right. Well, that's my that's part of my question. And for the, if we're going to adopt an ordinance, there's a whole separate process. No. Yes. Yeah, so we're not doing an ordinance. ordinance yet. Okay. No. So let me get really clear about that for Lisa's benefit. Item B in the statute says the tree, the tree warden and legislative body may adopt a shade tree pleasure preservation plan. And then item C says the plan may. Um, do a couple of things, and then we shall, in the context of, of the shade tree preservation plan, we shall hold a minimum of one hearing, and we shall publish the proposed plan 10 days prior to the public hearing. And then E is has the authority to adopt an ordinance 
which is I would interpret as an entirely different thing uh -huh. than all of the sh so yeah we have the authority but that's not what we're talking about now that's the feedback I've gotten from the state that's consistent urban community okay. forestry people too um, okay that there's this separate thing and I don't think any towns have figured that out Mark questions yeah I mean I mean, this must be basic <clears throat> so it keeps talking about a tree warden yeah I'm the tree warden you're the tree warden yeah so the ask the guts of this thing when you go through it is that we can't cut trees in the public right of way without your permission. Oh, right. Sort of. You, the guts of it are that it has to be, if you want to cut a tree, unless it's a hazard tree or whatever, um, that it has to be warned. And the tree warden is kind of the person who put notice up that someone wants to cut this tree, and then if a town's person objects, then it comes before the select board and there has to be a hearing for it. So I'm kind of like, you don't need my permission, but you need me to warn it for you if you want to cut a tree. Okay, right now what happens, I guess I'm asking both of you guys, what happens if there's a tree in the right of way that's not a hazardous tree that, oh well, you just think you should cut? So uh, generally I will get a hold of the tree board and discuss it and he determines if it's a hazard. If, if it's a hazard, it's easy. easy. It's easy. If it's not, then it, then it has to be a hearing. And now? And According to the, to the bridge and road standards that we are now following. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this isn't the change. So we, it's not much of a change, but, but before it was kind of murky, and that's the reason they passed the law, but the interpretation we've been using, which is kind of from legal precedent was that you had to have a hearing for any tree that was not a hazardous tree. Um, and then since they passed the law, right now, no trees are considered shade trees. You could go cut trees in your property in the right of way and nobody can do anything about it. So this plan kind of reestablishes the way we had it. Have we been cutting non-hazardous trees as a matter of course? When was the last time we cut a non-hazardous tree in the public right now? Well, we've had a lot of small ones, and brush. But are uh, they defined? There's a definition of kind of like shade tree, tree. and it has I to be like I haven't six. cut a tree bigger than six inches in several years, okay. unless it's a, unless it's a, That answers my question. Probably Apple That's Hill right. Road there. Okay. So this is, we're not adopting, right. Right. We we're not adopting a procedure which is going to change the way we normally do business in a big way and make and put in a whole bureaucratic process to do something we always like to do. No, it's not a big change, I don't think, but um, East Montpelier just went through this as just a week ahead of us or whatever, and there was controversy there because people didn't really know about the shade tree rules and it felt new. So there was, there was some pushback from people who felt like, wait, this tree warden's coming in and right. well, wanting to the control. The definition of the And they've been working on this for years, oh, trying to find <laughs> what is a shade tree, and yeah, yeah, it's like not an easy job to define that. Okay. Rick, questions? No, just uh, the, on the shade tree with the, I said like limited more. To, that is just right of way, like so basically road. road uh, yeah, it trees. actually includes like this property too, um, any town property, and the right of ways, mm -hmm. except. Not town forests that are on thing. Sure, I got. I know that makes sense. Yeah. Um, so it does include properties like this and the town office yeah. land, but, but it's mostly the right of ways. So that's where it comes up, you know, for the most part. Right. Do we? Is there any? Is there any, any discussion within that about the Emerald Ash Borer issue? You know, where we have these widespread. Yeah, by state statute, we're in this Emerald Ash Borer quarantine area and they're excluded. So um, the tree warden doesn't have any oversight over ash trees in the right of way. So a landowner or Alfred or another town official can cut an ash tree anytime now. Sure, because of that. Because of that, so that's part of the statute, yeah. Okay. So Neil, you, you need 
10 days to post. Um, I guess on the question of publish, I would certainly err on the side of abundant publishing. Yeah. You don't want somebody to say they didn't, we didn't publish it. Yeah. What are your, so we generally meet on Monday nights. Our next meeting is the 25th. Um, we don't have time. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking is, well, I guess I could ask Neil, but I also can ask the board. I guess first question is, do we want to do this on top of a regular meeting, or do you guys want to do a different Monday night? I don't, I don't think it's going to, unless we're wrong, I don't know that it's going to be, you know, a whole room full of people. Yeah. We might want to start earlier, mm -hmm. at like 6.30 or something. Why don't we do a regular night and do that, start at 6 or something? Start at 6, and in the worst cases, we... we we accelerate our agenda, but we can warn it that way. Sure. What's the first Monday meeting in May? Uh, second Monday. May 2nd. Oh, it's the first one is May 9th. Yeah, May second. May 9th. Mm. May second 9th. Monday is May 9th. Is that, that, right? sure. is that enough time for you? Yeah. So we'll warn it at 6, is that what people think? Mm -hmm. And I will warn it in such a way that if people don't show up, we don't have a, we'll just start a regular move, meeting. Move on. Yeah. Does that sound okay? So you kind of do your normal warning thing, and I will separately post it, post the plan itself. I will, I guess, warn it too. Okay. Is there any reason we can't sort of redundantly warn? So it'll be like at the top of our yeah, right. agenda in addition to whatever you do? Yeah. Just what tell you me what you want me to call it. It's what you do that matters. Okay. You know, we're just putting it on our agenda. Yeah. And warning our agenda. You're the one who warns. Who puts up the yeah, posts and publishes it. Mm, sure. Right. The plan itself. I think that our warning, I don't know why our warning it, because it does say both get us with Neil. We would Neil. I don't know why that wouldn't count as warning. Well, yeah. the trouble is, is we're not going to probably post our agenda for the meeting. We're not going to post 10 days ahead of time. So I oh, think we have point. to do a separate yeah, you agenda. Have to do your, uh, so I'll put something, I'll attach something to the plan right. that says when the meeting's going to yeah, be yep, right. so that it's right in here. And, and we'll make sure it's up more than yep. And then I'll just, it will be on ours too, but yours will be the one that Yours will complies. be the official. Okay, cool. Okay. One that counts the ten days. Yeah. Extra makes it. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay, and I gave you where everything gets warned. Yep. Okay. Yep. So the Times Argus is on here. I should do it in the newspaper too. Uh, Are there any groups of people that we would want to uh, invite? How much does that cost? It's going to cost probably under two hundred. I can check it out. Wouldn't hurt. It doesn't hurt, Neil. It's you know. It's better to do more than less. More rather than less. We don't want everyone to apologize for not checking the box. Yeah. Do you actually put the text of the plan in somehow? Or? I would just put the warning in. The warning in and the, the, and maybe if you get it on the website, email. you can yeah. direct yeah. people to the website. Direct people to where they can yeah. find. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do we yeah, want to? Uh, link, do we want to reach? Link to the home page. Do we want to reach out to the Peter Harveys and? Uh, yeah, and the People Conservation Commission. Well, I think that would be hard to do because we reach out to Peter separately. Yeah, right. That's and this one separately. Right. Well, and, and Neil worked with Conservation Commission in developing the plan. Yeah. So they're yeah, in the loop anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. just trying to think how to, if there are people that we can get out and just get the message out to other people. That Trails Committee, maybe. I think it's the average, the average homeowner that's going to be concerned with this. Right. I'll do a front porch forum yeah. thing. That yeah. Yeah. Yep. I think. Well, that's one of our posting places. Oh, yes. Good. Yep. yep. Just yep. make sure that in your summary or whatever, when you do the front porch forum, you make it clear it's only in the town, right? Away. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Neil, I would I would reach out to Jeremy and ask him to get this on the website so yeah. that before you do all your posting, so that I've got a link. And yeah. So you can send people there and it's there. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, anything else you want to ask us? I don't um, think so. Us? Yeah. Great. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Neil. Thank you, Neil. And you get to go home over the, how are the roads from Maple Corner here? Oh, just did the county road and it's amazing. Good. Smooth and beautiful. Great. Yeah. Smooth just and beautiful. Right
Compared to what it was. Compared to what it was. There's some touch of those. Uh, uh, it is a lot better for sure. Yeah. Alfred, you want to join us here? Real fast, and maybe you, if you can fill in details about that, things yeah, we I talked about. Yeah. Uh, very, very briefly, we're going to give an update on the trucks. I mean, the new spare truck is is in now. I think I saw it on the. And then he's sold. He's. I don't know if they nope. picked up the old, the old unit, yet. You said that was ready to be picked up, right? And it's, it sold. Yeah, it's sold. The check is in the coffers. Uh, it's all ready for him, but just the roads are posted, so he can't bring it home yet. So right. So. Is that the? I just signed something that had seventy-five thousand bucks on it for a truck. What's that? That's the, that's new, the, truck. New, the new old. The new old truck. Yeah. yeah. The new spare truck. Right. That's the new the, used. Yeah, the, the new, new spare. Used, right? Yeah. This is the, the new spare. spare. And then he's got the, in our regular retirement series, the new, uh, the new, unit that's that's on order, and that will replace the two thousand sixteen front line truck again? that we've got. He's got, we have our, our regular rent truck retirement cycle for our frontline trucks. We have a new, a new ordered, and it, it's replacing the 2016. Oh, so we're getting so, two trucks. Well, that's for the, these, this is a new frontline truck. Uh -huh. it's, on, yeah. it's on order, you said? Yeah. It'll be here October-ish. Yeah. That's cabin. a cabin chassis, and then it's one or two months to get it plumbed up. So so what does it mean when you say frontline? That means our main use, these are in warranty, we use them every day. The old truck we just mentioned before, that's a backup truck. Right, okay. So, yeah, it's already been used, so it's more likely to have problems. How much, um, how much did we get for the spare that you sold? 15000 Oh, that's not bad. It's not bad for an old deal. The dealer offered us as a trade 13000 mm -hmm. and I sold it outright for fifty. Okay. Well, well done. And then the money yeah. goes... The money should go into the equipment fund. Mm -hmm. I, I'm assuming that's what Sandra did to it. With it. Well, the last, the last thing on the trucks, we've got the uh, CB International, which has been that. That's the small dump. Trip, the small dump. Is that the one you usually drive? Yeah, the, and that's been a problem. You remember last year we voted to replace that because that's been a lemon. So he's got an F600 that he's kind of gotten a re reservation on. He's waiting to hear back from the dealer on delivery times with that. That'll probably be next. As a one sell the one we've got? We will, but first thing to do is get the other one yeah, ordered yeah, yeah. because of the backlog. We want to have this before next winter. So that's what we can. Is that a so, that's, so that's a third. We got the spare, we got the one that's in regular rotation, and, got the, and then you have a plan for the lemon. Is that what I'm hearing? Right. Okay. That's exactly yeah, check, right. Check, so check. that's, and we're trying to get everything before next winter. I so need a hopefully visual. the, the um, time works out on it, we'll find out. And how much is that one going to cost us? Uh, I don't. What's the number? Do you have? Do you know what that um, is? I don't have a. I do have quotes, but I don't have it in front of me. It's, no, it's somewhere. The truck was like eighty thousand, and the equipment's like sixty. So you're around one forty for that little. And we should get. I'm hoping to get. You know, it's hard to say with that. With the CV, what we'll get for a trade or an outright sell. I'm seeing that nobody's interested in it because it's got some problems. Mm -hmm. Not just that particular truck, but that, that brand of truck. It's, oh, it's, cool. it's, it's been a problem. So. Um, yeah, I remember you told us about it. Yeah. 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 So hopefully we'll get 60 or 70,000 out of that. It's that much so oh. to recover at least the plow frame with the cars right. and yeah. essentially that's yeah it should be great yeah that's the hopes but there's you know, we'll see yeah right. that's still early in the game it might work because of the backlog and truck availability right. you never know maybe because it's maybe it won't work maybe that will work in our favor right. uh, the last thing we just want to remind you know we've got we're coming up on a greater replacement time too, so I have to work that on the capital budget piece, but that's a big expense when it hits us, but we want to stay on schedule with that. 
you know, when we... Uh, you say coming up, what's that mean? Well, in, in the next few years, very quickly, you know, we want to be cycling those graders because they're expensive piece of equipment. We'll get rid of, I'm guessing we'll get rid of the John Deere, is that right, when yeah. the time comes? And then yeah. we'll keep the cat. Keep the cat. And then, you know, so we can sell the John Deere for whatever that's, you know, what that's worth. And then, uh, yeah, so that will offset some of the costs. Yeah, I mean, I'm thinking either next year or the year after. Yeah, yeah we have to yeah, go on the about, town meeting warning, right? That's exactly right. That's a, Yeah, depending on how we fund it, I don't think we'll have enough in the capital plan. I still want, would like to do, if we'll talk about that at a later meeting, but mm -hmm. if we can start a capital retirement of one piece of equipment at a time where we're not actually funding it through, uh, mm -hmm. uh, we'll, right. we'll get into that later, so if you have limited time. I, that's it for trucks, highway related. We were, you know, what we, what we wanted to bring up the Emerald Ash Borer issue, and that's what I was just talking to Neil about. East Montpelier has been, they're ahead of us. They've been, they've been contracting to clear ashes off of their right of way, you know, out of the highways <coughs> because of the, the risk of these things, the way they deteriorate, and the way the ash borers. They essentially have about a six-year tree. Once they're infected, it takes about six years to kill them. And as they, the way the tree actually deteriorates, they weaken about two-thirds of the way up the stem, and they tend to snap off, which makes them quite and a And we hazard. know that our, will that happen when we know it's on, that the tree is infected, or are we doing it prophylactically? We will do it prophylactically because they're so... Yeah, I mean, now, what I think East Montpelier has selected some trees to actually tree. It's expensive to do that, but to preserve them. Mm -hmm. And do that every year, every two years, something like that. Mm -hmm. So that they, so you've got a little stock in case, you know. Well, we've had a lot of discussion about this emerald ash borer over the last yeah. year. We too. have, but we want to get acting on right. it soon because it's so, there are a lot of ash trees and we've got a lot of miles of road and it will not be cheap to. I don't think we've had a proposal to to immunize either though. We talked no, about we it, we learned been, about it. Right. Yeah. Paul, somebody came and talked to us well, about it. In the, in the yeah, community so it's center. in the state. We're in this in the state district that this bug is, is I get that. I'm just wondering about the immunizing. Anyway, well, that's I, can, that's a little off topic. What I'll do is gather some we have the advantage of having Paul Kate who's put he's one you know best friend of mine and he's a forester and he put together a lot of these small pillar plants. So he can give me a lot of the information that they've already done. Okay. I know that, and he, we talked so, about it. So, what are you saying that they contracted with somebody to come in? And they do. They contracted road by road, a bit at a time, to go and remove these, and it's been very effective. And then also okay. he and they've they've contracted the tree too, so he will have some idea of cost. But I think we'll have to be building this into budgets in the future. We don't do, have you, to, do you want? Well, budgets in the future, but can it, if we're going to, especially, well, we have six years to cut an infected tree. Can take six years, I heard you say. We're not six years in the ash borer yet, I don't think. Well, you don't want to actually get you know, there. No, 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 I'm not you saying You don't that. want to waste, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just, what my mind is on future agenda items. In terms of immunizing, is that something that we would want to be working on? Sooner rather than later. Sooner rather than later. So, so we have a plan. We'd have so to we we'd have plan. to work with Neil to identify the trees we want to preserve. I'm gonna. Um, now did um, East Montpelier get an estimate of? They hired somebody. They yeah. hired them. Yeah, they put an RFP out so we can get an idea of cost. And I get that all from Paul, just just for a baseline for us. Mm -hmm. And then we would do the same thing. It's essentially put out an RFP for services mm -hmm. for both pieces. I'm gonna make yeah. a, a note of Rick Neil on immunizing. Because if, if we want to do that sooner rather than later, my question is, mm -hmm. would we want to do it even before the next budget cycle? Yeah, well, let's see what it costs. Yeah, I, mean, I wonder. Um, I, th th that way, you get them before they're in fact. If we get a plan together, we could, we could start doing it without contractors. We can start doing some of our own. Sure. Like this fall, when we're waiting for snow. Are you still talking about immunizing? Cutting. Are you still talking about cutting? Yes. I was yes. really I'm impressed to hear you talking about. Okay. I'm talking about immunizing. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I don't even know how that's done. They do that with a spray or an injection. I, There's a lot of I need to talk to I, I yeah. think immunizing would be really great, and we should do it. Yeah. I mean, what's at stake is the future of the uh, the ash tree. The ash tree. Yeah. I mean, you know. right. Well, I think we should strive well, to I save some. 
But yes. it is, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's, there's a strong sense that there might be ash trees, that if we immunize them and they look good, they could possibly be, become resistant. They would be the survivors, and then we would breed the ash. Breed, breed ash. Well, oh, and it's true, it's you lose the <laughs> ash. We wouldn't, lose, we wouldn't lose it like the chestnut, the American chestnut's right. gone, you know? We wouldn't lose it. Well, that's the idea. Right? Essentially, this is, this is an insect, so it's the ash stock. With that, we're going to get bogged down. We're only talking about 20 feet of the town right away, which is when, it, when you take the road out of that, you're only talking 15 feet. Well, it all, it all, it's all part of making a plan. Really, right. we're just saying we, should, we're just saying we should have a plan. Right. And that's, let's, that let's is a point. Facts. And part of the plan should be to investigate what it would cost to pick a couple of ash trees to save, mm -hmm. and how much would that cost? And yeah. then the rest of the plan would be thousand dollars a year. Yeah. Easy. Right. And then the rest of the plan would be the cutting of the, the yeah. other tree. Yeah. The advantage right. of doing that in the right of way is that. The town then is taking care of those trees. You're not relying on a landowner to keep I mean, I coughing up. In right, the, and you're know, keeping our aesthetic, our canopy that we like here and there. Mm -hmm. Well, mainly too, that you've got a consistent, this has to be consistent over mm -hmm. until the ash borers have mm -hmm. moved through. Once the stock is reduced, I don't know, but I'm guessing that the ash borer become less of an issue because they don't have the feedstock to eat so okay. anyway let's so noted ash okay. ash having a plan on the ash tree ash good we're working on we, that what's, so what's that our before we move on <clears throat> so what's our action item here that is what are what well, are we I'm, need to do i made I a will. note of this of immunizing it sounds like the you know immunizing we had two two pieces immunizing and cutting right cutting is is maybe a longer term Rick, connect with Neil on immunizing, how to choose which trees to immunize, what would the budget be, et cetera. Well, and I will follow up with you on you on when you want to come back and talk about that. Okay. Yeah. So I, it's on you then. It's, no, it's on Rick. It'll be on me. It's on not, you, but it's on but I'll, be, but I'll be tracking but it. On we're going to figure out when to bring it back. I'll be bugging her because this is an important one. Okay. So yeah. It's, he, he actually brought not, this up with me today. Right. It's yeah. So we've. And I will, this is what I will do. I mean, I'll talk to Paul Kate because he's okay. been the lead, a lead on that. Mm -hmm. So I can get a good idea of the cost, you know, their that. cost mechanism and for both sides of this. Mm -hmm. And so, and I'll definitely work with Neil. I've already talked to him. So we'll, and now for, because the town crew will be a piece of this conversation too. But I, so uh, anyway, that's enough on that right now. Uh, do we want to talk about the bridge issue right now at all yes. over in Moscow? Yes. Yeah. Or are you not a separate agenda item? I added it to the agenda, so. But that's good. So we have we have an issue with the Moscow Links, that short bridge mm -hmm. in down by the mill. I mean there's a button of failure on it. He had a it's just turned up, you know, a sinkhole appeared and Alfred went in to look at it and so it's not a culvert, it's the actual No, group. it's the abutment. <coughs> it's probably, it's probably it's a bridge abutment. I thought, I thought that was a long bridge. It's not. So um, the state inspects all the long bridges in towns and state that this is a short, so there will be well, no that's, town inspection. That's inspected by the state. It is? It's a short, isn't it? Do they do that? 20 is the top. Oh, I thought it's 40. That's, for that's inspected by the state. Oh, okay. Toby told me it wasn't. He said that wasn't inspected by the state. He said that was the yeah. inspection. The house. Well, then I'll call Pam Thurber because yep. I'll try to get the report on it. But it's already, he's already got DeWolf Engineering looking at that. They came in Friday, right, Chris That's Temple? Right. So he's a phenomenal structural engineer. So, what's his name again? Chris Temple. He worked with Rick. Chris Temple. Rick, they yeah. were partners in DeWolf before Rick. Very, very good bridge engineer. And he'll, uh, yeah, so he's kind of coming up with a kind of a scope on that, right? That will be a replacement. Right? Yeah, well, the, the, the rush here is that we can apply for a structures grant from the state. Right. And so we've asked him to put a letter together um, that would put us in the running for, for a grant. Um, and he would, he would also put a, an estimated number of costs to right. it so we can apply for the grant for it. That's good. Uh, one thing, I talked to Toby too, and he said what he suggested made a lot of sense too was to, uh, if 
you know, to get a, to apply for a storage use grant for a repair on this thing to make it functional until we could actually get the bigger grant funding, because that's a half million dollar bridge. That little bridge is that much money? Oh, any bridge. And the average bridge cost in the state is one, well, back in the early 2000s was 1.3 million. Wow. So next steps, the next steps, what do you guys need from us? Uh, mainly, I want to make sure you are, your heads up, you, we're going to get an idea of what cost is on this and then a path forward. Okay. We'll have to talk to VTrans, well, I don't know well from what you're thinking, with, uh, it's maybe, it all depends on, you know, we're, the, the structures grants are only a few hundred thousand, right, when they, I don't know what the limit is right, right now. Two, so we're going to have to come up with another couple hundred grand one way or the other, either through other supplemental grant or, you know, from our pockets. So what we, you know, if if we can get us a grant to even do a repair on it to get us through the next year or two so we can get a better plan and maybe find more funding, that may be a benefit that right. we I just don't know enough yet. Right. Just get the facts. Too bad they can't right. fix it while they're doing that other bridge well, yeah, down the yeah, road, yeah, right? Yeah, so, so this sounds like something we're going to, I mean, we do a road report every meeting. So, so you know, we yeah. should do an update for, right. you know, we should put on our engineer report. Uh, we asked, asked for that before April 15th. Okay, so, so you'll want... Next agenda, let's take it. Okay, how much time do you want for the engineer report the next agenda? What do you think? 15 minutes or 15 yeah. minutes probably, but I'm sure we'll have something to add to that. Yeah. So I have a question. Is it currently a safety issue? We don't have to close the bridge and detour? I've got it, I've got it narrowed up. So it's just, there's, there's four beams across this bridge. Mm -hmm. The outside one is the one that has failed. Yeah, because I've seen an orange cone there for well, like the last right, week. Right, because there, there was a sinkhole. It started out right. as a little tiny pothole like this. A hole in the blacktop. Oh, wow. And then through the spring, the thaw in the water, it's made it bigger. So I called the engineer, he came out to look at it, and I wanted his opinion about how to fix it. Um, and he suggested a complete rebuild. Yeah. I think there's also another option that we can, you know, we can look at for a more temporary fix to get us by. Mm -hmm. But I've got it narrowed up. His suggestion was to take the weight off of that outside beam. It's the very outside beam that is, that is yeah. the sure the, the abutment has failed. So I've got it closed up like four feet with barrels, legal barricades, whatnot. So okay. they can still, people can still travel over it. It's safe. It's not, you know, mm -hmm. if that sinkhole hadn't come, nobody would have noticed it. it right. Just, you know, but it did. And then I got looking at it underneath and the abutment is just, it's all huh. crumbling. It's like the concrete is just disintegrating. Mm -hmm. Wow. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's an old bridge too, so underneath the abutment is all just stacked up stone. granite, flat stones, whatever they could find back in the back in the day. Days, so, you know. so you have the authority you need. You don't need action by us. Not to mention just it so not comes to out to more a heads up. It's more just a heads up so that if we do when we apply for the grant for either either the permanent fix or temporary fix, you guys will be on board to right. sign for that mm -hmm. okay. for mm -hmm. that grant. Okay. So no different than any other grant, than you know, culverts that we replace, all that's the same. Right, type right. Of this is something we hadn't planned for. Right. The one request that I will make is that we hear about the grant opportunity as early as possible, so we have time to get in our agenda, review the paperwork. Like a budget. Same old request. Yeah. No, it's the same as like I said. It's we have to apply for it by April fifteenth. We have to apply by April 15th? Yeah, and today's the 11th, so you got to do it by Friday. Okay, so do you, who's what are you going to apply? To Toby's Toby will do all the grants. Yeah, Toby will so do as long as he, Apparently, as long as he gets a letter from the engineer and an estimated cost, then the grant can be applied for. Okay. I don't think you guys have to act on it until the grant is approved. That's the way it usually works. I talked to Tony this yeah. morning, that's kind of the plan. That's the way it usually I, works. I think, because you have to do, 
reporting. Or it's either 10, 10 or 20 percent. Yeah, it's usually 10 or 20, depending on what kind it is. I think, and the, you know, the advantage of kind of going at this from more of prepare and then working on a bigger plan is right now this is not a good time to be buying. Everything is very expensive steel. Mm -hmm. Everything, you know, so likelihood that, you know, we may do a lot better cost-wise a year from now or two years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's much I'm definitely interested in, you know, quick fix. Temporary. Options. Right, yeah. temporary. If we, can, if we can make it functional, let's look at the report. And, right. And uh, then, but then definitely not sit on it long. We want to get it done. Yeah. While I was out, I did ask about the other bridges as well, whether there three or four others in town that are, we should, maybe we can take a peek at those and see what those life, where they are in their life cycles a little bit. I don't know how many have been inspected by the state and how many we've right. maintained, but we can, they're expensive enough that we should be looking at that in terms of long range yeah, capital. I mean, we're doing a capital budget. For trucks. So I was planning on adding these in. Yeah. Yeah. Got to the, yeah, so that that's a good. Because this is going to be well, very this is, expensive. Well, and this one yeah. just kind of popped up. It wasn't anything we were planning on. So. Yeah. And that can happen with yep. the, you know, but You never know. Yeah, so, okay, that's enough on that right now. Um, let's see. The other. And the next thing I there was Alfred called me about this. There was that carbon water line uh, permit, right? That uh, the someone had applied for a water line crossing over the, under the road. Oh, is this the one in Kent's Corner? Uh, Chiaburo. Chris. Chris Chiaburo. First he was first he oh, was going to Is that it? Yeah. Was? First he was going to first he applied, and he was supposed to right. do some stuff, and he never did. Then he withdrew it. And then he put it back in again. So we no, that's back. one in our list of having it for next it's, time. It's on the agenda for the next meeting. The only thing I'm bringing up here, Alfred told me, you know, he's actually doing the contract work to put that water line in. So just you in mean, terms of... You mean his side business? He yeah, it's his side business. contract me to do the thing So in terms of disclosure, we would want to just let us know. I mean, I... I, mean, I don't want to be part of the discussion of approving this permit if I'm if I'm going to be doing the work, that's a conflict of interest. So, right. somebody else. So then, who else on the road crew could have could well, could? In the past, we've always just told me. Toby's always mm -hmm. made that discussion, and because then somebody has to sign off on it, somebody has to it. sign off on it. Right. I mean, I'm personally okay with Alfred doing that. I mean, he knows this as well or better than anybody. We do this fairly routinely. So, and I'm. We do. I think so. I mean, I thought you have. I know down at the, the they put in a pipe down at uh, the um, uh, Adamant Co-op, and you know, they, that was drainage. It wasn't water line, but so okay. I mean, so it's mainly returning, making sure roadbed ends up back. So and, now I understand. So let, well, maybe I understand. Let me mm -hmm. let me test my understanding. So the application from the from the Traburos mm -hmm. mm -hmm. is that we are we have on our agenda to approve next week is not it is literally to approve work. the work the right of way work application the right of way for the work that so we're approving we're approving the the what the the right of way, meaning it's going to be in the town's That's space, right. right of way, and Alfred's doing the work that is the subject of the thing that we're approving. And we also, I mean, there's usually Alfred would tell us how far down they have to right. dig, and do they are they going to blast and blah blah and blah. blah. So we need somebody else. I tend to, to agree with that. that. I hear what you're saying, Rick, that it's standards and Alfred's going to meet the standards, but it is sort of Alfred's meeting the standards both as judge and yeah. whatever. Yeah, that's right. That's Fox right. and Hen House. Right. Okay. Is, well, that, is that something, Rick, you can do? I would rather not do it in here. I mean, it's. Who else on the road crew then could do it? Or Toby? Or Toby. I think, can you ask Toby? Can you ask Toby if you I'm could? I'm sure Toby would be happy to do it. He's okay. Kind of, and does he have the skills to do it? He should. I mean, it's pretty basic stuff. I mean, you just have to make sure that 
compaction is right, the right materials backfilled in the ditches, things like that. I don't, is it crossing the road? Is it going yeah. parallel? Yeah, it's yeah. Going yeah. That's not that uncommon to do this. Well, That's I why mean, I, I, I mean, we, we, I mean, we have done these, but not with Alfred as the contractor. Well, and that and that's kind of the other thing. We're, we're, the other possibility, Alfred, is that this is a conflict of interest, and with your full time job with the town, you don't take good work. Have you? What's your reaction to that? Because it, because it puts it in here. We are struggling. With who's well, gonna, you're just approving them right away. I mean, it could be any Joe doing the contracting. Yeah, but it's it just is, that I'm generally the inspector of that. Of right. That. That's the and point. that's the problem. That's the point. Mm -hmm. That is the point. Is so that, somebody uh, and that's has what to inspect my work. Uh, that, uh, that I think what we're saying is it would be cleaner if we said, you know, you're the road commissioner. <coughs> this that has time. that that has to come first, as opposed to your secondary job. It is that what I'm has, hearing? It always has. It always has. I always put the town first. Yeah, I, I'm not this saying. Is, I'm not this saying you don't. On the weekend or, or a night after work. I'm not saying you don't. I just. If you look at it from the perspective of us and maybe other people, it's kind of... It's what you said yourself, Alfred, it's a conflict of interest. Right. And here we are trying to figure out who can do it, when in fact, right. it's and your... You're suggesting that there's maybe nobody that can do that and that I shouldn't do it. That's what you're just suggesting. Well, conflict of interest is, is uncomfortable, and that's the conversation that we are having. I put there. We're we. There are two different solutions, right? There are two different solutions. One solution is the town finds somebody else to do the inspection that is part of your job. That's one solution. Another solution is that doing the inspection is your job, and you do it, and somebody else does the excavation work. Those are the two choices. So we we. I just want to say that I just it's, we have to say it out loud. Those are the two choices. Yeah, I'm fine. Now we're in a position of we have to. So what we're hearing from you, I guess, is that you you want to do the work and you want us to solve the problem of finding somebody to do the inspection. I just bring it to your attention. I don't think that there's a problem that needs to be resolved. I just want you guys to know that that or to try to find somebody else that can sign off on it because I, I can't know. sign off on my own work. Right, and that's and, and you raised the point, and rightly so, that it's a conflict of interest. You're absolutely right. That yeah, it's a conflict yeah. of interest. You can't do we have to decide this tonight? No. No, you know, because no. I mean I'm not, probably not going to do the work until who knows. But okay. I just wanted I knew it was coming on to the agenda, so I wanted okay. it up on on top of the table. Okay. So that we all know. And if you tell okay. me I can't do the work, then I won't do the work. That's it why seems, I brought it up to the board ahead of time. Right. Okay. All right. Yeah. I, did, I did. That's the first thing like, I've, I've heard you say that if, if we tell you that your job here conflicts and you and you shouldn't take that work, I, that's why I just heard you say. But that's the first time you heard it. So I think that we we could probably spend an hour trying to, <laughs> to work through this, and maybe we should just note the issue yeah. right. and move on to what else you guys right. have to tell right. us yeah, about. Yeah, we can we can talk to Toby. If, and see if he's willing to. Okay. Well, let's. Inspection. Okay. Well. Yep. Good. Anyway, that's. Then uh, let's see. The last. The last was. Uh, uh, the, you know, um, the new hire, Peter Daly, was doesn't need our. I think this is that might be executive session. Well, no. I talked to Sharon, and she thought this was open. It was, should that you know with the uh, health health insurance issue, we talked today. That was something else I said we would do in open session. Uh, I think I think that was, I that's think what that's, we were talking about. But maybe we, well, I can. That was that a long time ago. That was many hours ago. <laughs> okay, we'll talk about it next time. <laughs> then we'll do. We'll uh, it's it. it's personnel related. Yeah, I so think right now I'm, I'm on. It should be done in open session. Yeah, it should be or in executive session. Yeah, session. I think it should be done in executive session. I think that's yeah. it now for then. And we can we'll get, I'm sorry, I'll there was something I told you was open session and now it's not coming to mind for me and I apologize if that was it. Um, I don't know, so maybe I, I made it. It might have been, it might have been something that we've already hit on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it could be, it could yeah. even be what we were just talking about. I can't could remember, sorry. I think it was that. That's quite possible. <laughs> I, I was between conference calls and trying to squeeze Yeah, okay. Thing. Is there anything else you guys want to raise with us? Any other questions from the board for Alfred and Rick? Okay. Oh, you know, there's one thing I want to, since I, I haven't been able to do it yet, but I want to talk to uh, 
Central Vermont Regional Planning just because of the East Montpelier project and that moving forward, you know, because they were going to project manage next phases in this. And Wait, Grace, what are we talking about? Grace left the East right. Montpelier stormwater um, project. Oh, okay, so okay, I, okay. I want to make sure that there's East Palace. East Palace, East Palace what I say, right. East Montpelier, yeah, sorry, yeah. East Palace. No wonder we're confused right yeah, now. Yeah, I apologize. Okay, so you, you, want, you, want, you want that on an agenda coming up? Uh, I don't know yet. Let me talk to you. To Central Vermont okay. Regional Planning, because I need see to what the next phase, what their what the next step is now that who's Grace, taking Grace? Right, who's taking Grace? Pam and Grace are both gone. Right, right. So, so one thing I will point out to you guys is I've added a section at the end of the agenda where we do two things. One is we go through what we have teeing up coming up, and also fifteen minutes. Yeah, fifteen minutes for us to just go around the room as a board and say what's on your mind. What did we hear about? What should we be talking about? To make sure we're capturing those kinds of things. Alfred, before you go, I want to hand you. I was going to ask you something. Else. I hope you're going to take that 2022 season thing that goes up the page of off mark. the uh, watermark because it makes it. I think it's going to be hard when people fill it out to be able to read it when you get it filled out. Okay, I can lighten it up. Okay, that would be good. I would lighten it up. I wanted to make. Sh I wanted to not. It's I just too dark. Okay, I can lighten it up. Alpha, we approved the, app the application for private maintenance of public roadside tonight. I gave it to you in draft and hear from you, so I assume you loved it. The last meeting. He, he, he emailed us. He said he liked yes, it. Yes, I did. Oh, yeah. yeah, you did. I apologize. I missed yep. it. Thank I saw, you. I saw thank his thank email. You. Uh, so here's the final. It, it's on the, it's in the tonight's folder too. Do you want a paper one? Sure. Should we? Maybe. I will I will lighten it up and I will ask Jeremy to get it on the website and post it and I will post it in front porch forum and try to help you out in making and spreading the word and help us out spreading the word. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. That's it. Uh, okay. Thanks, Thanks Alfred. Thanks, Alfred. Thanks, Alfred. Thanks, Alfred. Thanks, Alfred. One of you guys is next. Rules of procedure. Rules of procedure. So the rules of procedure are, these are the rules. <clears throat> just a quick history, and then I'm going to make a motion just to put it on the floor. These rules, as they way predate me, <laughs> but in draft, in <clears throat> draft, in multiple drafts, these rules were discussed in August at some length. And then they were discussed again in September of last year at Sunlink, with notes being taken, and then at a request that additional material be provided as discussed. And the result is this. And then we took this, which was before you last time, <clears throat> went through it pretty carefully, and really, I think these rules are fine. I don't think they they. They're permissive, they, they allow us to do things, they allow the flexibility we need when we need flexibility. They say what we're gonna do when we need to do things. The only places in these rules, I got up here. You get the latest, the one, one I made that little tweak that we talked about this yeah. morning? You got that? I just You're printed on. it out. Yeah. You're on it? Um, the only what place- What tweak was on? We changed the shell. We changed the shell to a yeah, name. Let me hand it to yeah. the niece. Uh, there is one change that we recommend, but otherwise, that's I, that was the latest. The place that says it. shall. The places. Well, where are you? Oh, right here. The okay. places it says shall in general. Just talking in general. Oh, okay. The places it says shall are places where the state law requires that we do it. Right. The places it says may are because it's may. We mm -hmm. may do it. The one area where we changed it is if you look at number two, board point person, there's two paragraphs. The first paragraph is point person for liaison to establish committees, commissions, work groups, and functions in the town. The second paragraph is when we identify a specific issue, like for example, the Curtis Pond Dam or Denise and John were asked to be the liaisons. But the first one, we just thought that shouldn't be a shall. It should be a may. Yeah. Because maybe there's some commissions where you don't do it. So we've right. changed it from shall to may. Yeah, so otherwise, better. everything else in here is the same. I strongly recommend it. Now I'm going to move it. I move that draft. OK, right. second. OK. <clears throat> 
I checked in with John, let him know that it was on the agenda, made sure he was okay, because it's a big thing. He said that, no, he's good. Yeah. Yeah. Any other comments? No, All I think in favor? It's Aye. 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 Okay. Do we okay. need to sign that? Oh, we do, and I brought a copy to sign. Oh, do we have? You brought a copy to sign. Is this, this one? <clears throat> oh, it's not that one. I'll find it. I hope I do. Because mine... I was super organized. I mean, that. you have yours. We can just sign that one. Give me, give me that one. Which one? The one with the yellow on it. I just want to look. I, hang on, I swear to you, I need to put a big pink sticky on it that says signing copies. I did that in my office. Oh, here you go, for signature. Okay, great. All right. Uh, okay, next. Town here, I'll just pass this around because I have the next one. The next item no, is the town constable. But this one still says, oh, wait a minute, no, I'm sorry. Right, it's the right one. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Travis, welcome. Uh, have a seat. Travis. Uh, John, was, John was planning to uh, make a where we sign this. Right at the end. Doesn't matter in what order, right? No, doesn't matter. Uh, mm -hmm. So John was planning to make the motion, and he's not able to be here. So I will mm -hmm. make a motion, and I'll be well. I will say I will say what the motion is. The motion that we need is to authorize Travis Shores, the newly appointed constable, at our the town's expense to participate in law enforcement level one and level two training at the Vermont Police Academy. That's the motion we need. Second. No, I need the motion. Oh, so moved. Second. Okay. Um, John, <laughs> John asked me to remind the board that we have consulted with our attorneys um, to understand, get our brains around what level one, level two means. Yeah, that was helpful. Uh, very helpful. Mm -hmm. That the previous constable had similar training, and that this level of training is typical for small town constables. So those are the points of that John asked me to make this show. Um, so I will, Travis, invite you to speak for a couple of minutes. So there's a motion on the floor, Travis? Yep. Oh, you. Okay, then you can oppose it if you like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's gonna happen. No, I, I think that um, we spoke a great deal a few different times about what yeah. the expectations were. Yeah. And I hope, I, I guess what I would like to say is, is there any questions you have for me in terms of like, Timelines and did you get the uh, timeline of events like mm -hmm. how they work and yeah, in terms yeah, of like, when the next training is? Yes, yeah, June. June. Yeah. Yes, okay. So there's a, there's a deadline for all paperwork to be into the academy in um, mid May. Is that you paperwork or us paperwork? That's both. So it's it's the polygraph and background check. Right, which we in. authorized yeah, last that's, time. That's what we authorized, right? Right. So that has to be in and completed, and then there's stuff I need to fill out on my can you staff us and make sure that we have in front of us the things we need to sign? I will absolutely send you everything. You need yeah, to and then yes. also we said something about um, what was it? Yeah, it's, it's June for the po yeah you have to have the polygraph and the background check. So what was the other thing? It just seems like there was something to see. Polygraph background, um, and the rest is on me to coordinate with um, all the pre-checks that I have. Yeah, okay. Um, what, what about a cost? The cost is, is, there's no cost to send me there. There's only the cost for the background check and the polygraph. That's what we have. And who's paying that? The town town. Very well, you guys can say it. And you know how you, he knows how he's going to get the check. It'll go to the town, it'll be part of the orders, I assume. Yeah, it'll be a part of the okay. orders. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I think, I think you have to do that. I can't touch that because it'd be me yeah. interfering sure. with my own exam. It'll right. just show up in the town's bills, though, right? So there's, a, there's, there's what you're asking for. I'll get to you. It's a piece of paper that has a signature thing on it. That says when I completed it, and it will be probably yours as a chair's signature saying he completed the polygraph on this date and he completed the background check on this date. And that form then gets sent to the county. Okay. So once you have that satisfied, then you get to sign off on that or whoever you do. Yeah. But yeah. the question it. is. Payment. The payment. Is the payment up front? The, the payment for the buyout? Do we have to pay for it up front or they bill it That's down? for you to work out with um, 
and a two gig or whomever you choose to have to do the polygraph test mm -hmm. because they would contact you guys to. <laughs> So, all right, I can send you all that information over again if you want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, I found, I found it, an ex Vermont state patrolman at 2 Big commonly does polygraphs for most people in the state. He's out of, I think, Grand Isle. I'm not positive about that, but mm. I can check. But I did get in touch with him uh, by email, and um, I'll get his information to you again so you can set up a time that works. Okay, yeah. I think, yeah. I, am I wrong? I can see our problem is. Sandra, our treasurer, yep. is just working on a part-time basis now. Okay. So, ordinarily, if this guy tells you, oh, I need a check up front, mm -hmm. he's got to send something to the town. Well, he has to send a request. A request or an invoice or something. He has to know he's being contracted first, so that's why I was saying you Normally, I think probably the normal way it would work is they would just build a town. Sure. I, I hope That's, so. That would be my take on. So the on first it. thing is we sign the contract, and then are we not clear whether we pay in advance or pay after the work is done? I'm not sure because I wasn't in contact with them. I okay. want to leave that up to the select board to do so that my yeah. hands work. Well, that sounds like a John question. I think this, so. I think we did authorize, but let's do it again because yeah, we have no, someone we did. taking minutes. Um, we did authorize it. We authorized time. John okay. to work with you. Let me say it out loud. Work with you. Or as appropriate to get your polygraph done and the background check and for John to sign off on those expenses. That part yeah. wasn't here. So the polygraph expense and the background check, we are authorizing John to sign. Perfect. Yeah, we have those two things. Representing right. the board. Uh, on, behalf, on behalf of the board. On behalf of the board. Right. I'll get everything okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. You don't want to wait and bring it to all of us. No, no, <laughs> no just, let's it's, get it. It's, yeah, house, it's, it's housekeeping at we have, yeah, it's housekeeping at this point. Sure. Uh, any other questions for Travis? No. Nope. Motion right. on the table. Ready for the motion? Yeah. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining. <laughs> okay. Thank You're you, approved. Yes. Step Thank forward. Appreciate it. Thank you, Travis. Okay. Uh, Nick, welcome. Nick. Hello. Want a lemon bar, Nick, or a yeah. Yes. Uh, I'll I'll You're good. We almost have time for meeting. I have a good now, so thanks anyway. You yeah. got a what? I'm allergic to gluten. Oh. Oh, worse. Oh, 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 Thank you. I appreciate it. I got a whole bag of flour that I bought. Stop by my house and pick it up. Gluten free. Uh, gluten. Really? Okay, neighbor. Yeah, neighbors. <laughs> The floor is yours, Nick. Okay, well, as you know, the local emergency management plan is a document uh, required of each municipality, and we, the select board review and approve it uh, sometime between town meeting and May 1st. So, thanks for getting this on your schedule at this time. Yeah. Uh, this, I think this is the third round for me of. Uh, helping guide this document. It doesn't look a whole lot different than it did uh, last year. It's, it looks quite a bit different than it did two years ago because we added to a list of possible resources that uh, could be called upon in the event of an emergency. Um, everything from you know the, the snowmobile club to the guy on Lightning Ridge, whose name I'm not remembering, who has a, a, an aerial photography drone. Tennessee. To, uh, oh. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, to you know, animal rescue folks. So uh, I sent uh, a draft to mm -hmm. Sharon. Yep, and um, I put it in the folder. And I don't think there's I anything see it in the that I need to flag about it. So <coughs> it would, huh, I must have missed it. I didn't forward. see it in the folder. It might be helpful when you get something like this, Sharon, if you just also send it to the full board instead of just putting it in the folder. I'm... Mm, Okay, that's we have to talk about that. I put it in the full. I put it in the folder. Yeah, I didn't see it though, so maybe I just missed. I might have. I might have not. I put it in today, and it told me it was already in there. And I might have put it in twice today, and so I apologize if I didn't get it in on Friday. But but yeah, I I'd just, rather get it in on Friday than be sending everybody a bunch of email they don't need. Okay. Well, my point. So if it's in an email, if it's not, the folder's available to the public. 
No, it's no, not that's that's one. Not that, that one. It's not a public. That's, that's not the no. public folder. No. Google. No. That's right. Anyways, we can talk about it, but I, I was in there in that folder two no, or three times today and I didn't see it. Uh, it. It may not have been in there yet. No, I went through today and I think that, and I do think that I did not get that in on Friday and I apologize. And so I should have asked, the reason I didn't, I, I remember, is because you said it was a draft and I wasn't clear whether you were going to make more, and I should have asked you, I didn't need oh. to ask you, you were you going to make more changes? But this is like a draft in the sense of as long as it's good with us, you're good with it. Yes. Okay. Yes, you, um, I just wanted to give the select board a chance if you were. Okay. Yeah. No, I don't think so. It's a very basic document. It, you said it didn't really problems. change much, so I, right. I trust you. Okay. Yeah. And uh, is that is that what you have there? As we still have you listed as one of the three uh, main authors of the documents. So I hope you don't mind. Oh you're... no, that's fine. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. But you were. You pass it right. You were. Yeah. 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 So yeah. I see it after you're done. Yeah. yeah. And let's see, the, I then there, this before. there's a separate form, a uh, one page form, which is the, yep, the, uh, the select board's authorization is signed by the select board chair and uh, type, the type signature counts as a. Oh, I don't even have to sign it. Okay. I don't even have to. Okay, well, that's what this looks like. And we, Rick and I, uh, yeah. met. Is that Rick's seen it? a couple of times in the last six months talking about um, many different projects that can be uh, initiated around emergency management in Calais and prioritizing those. And we have a, a list of 30 action items. We'll see how that goes. But uh, we're also scanning the horizon for people who may be approved to help uh, with some of these projects. Because, uh, Emergency management director isn't supposed to be rushing to the scene of the incident. We're supposed to be figuring out who, right. who, 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 who should go where when. Pardon? Yes. Who should go where when yes. and how? Do we have to fly them in by helicopter? Exactly. <coughs> and Denise had uh, had this role for many years, so she knows the territory well. You probably want to get Sharon's <coughs> telephone number in here. Oh yeah, I'm here. Oh. If, thank you. So if I can, you have my phone number. If I can, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll type it in. If, if, if the cell number. I mean, yeah. I'm assuming if there's a huge emergency. Um, I remember when the dam broke in Adamant, mm -hmm. and I got a call. I called all the other select board members to let them know what's happening, as mm -hmm. select board members should. So I assume that that would be the same thing that would happen. It wouldn't just be contained to who's ever name is on the document, wouldn't the whole select board would need to know? Yes. Right? Yes, Can you give that to Nick? Okay, because it's I don't see everybody's name and phone numbers listed. They are further down the document all okay. the select board. Because if there's a huge emergency, we're gonna need all hands on deck. Mm -hmm. well, yes. There's something I wanted to bring up too while I had Nick here too because he and I talked about this issue this winter and and it's about the generators, and, and there's rarely been money available to do that. However, at this point in time, that's on my list. FEMA is well. Right now, there is a lot of interest in FEMA and in the Vermont Emergency Management about inventory. They're they're worried about cyber attacks, right? Mm -hmm. We're going after the power grid. Yeah. So there there's been some discussion of freeing up more money. You know, so we may have some opportunities coming down. I will keep you appraised of that as I find out anything. Are you saying there might be funds from FEMA to buy a generator? Quite possibly. I would, I've been They're always wanting down. a generator for here. Well, I, I could think of a couple sites in town. Yeah, I mean, this place doesn't do have one at all. Right. Or in And this is a shelter. You know, possibly even like the Kent's Corner Community Club, if, a, if an MOU could be put in place. or Oh, the Maple Corner Community Club. Maple Center. Corner. That's what, yeah, yeah. The Maple Corner. Not Kent's Corner, I'm sorry. And, and Memorial uh, Hall when it's done. But what we, we could look, you know, if I see that developing, I know there's conversations that are happening right now. Mm -hmm. And there's, you know, so, you know, that, and that would that, that actually, funding, it came up in conversations about funding not being available for generator mm -hmm. systems, and that, that may be something that comes out in the near. So we'll, we'll uh, watch this carefully. Yeah. And if it's, 
That's good. Yeah, yeah. My... Rick and I also talked about identifying uh, a secondary backup emergency operations center. Yeah. Uh, because down here, I know that we're out of the floodplain now, but only by about 18 inches. So I think it would make sense to maybe at the school to have mm -hmm. a backup site. Yeah. Something that's got good data for, and then that's on good road. And... Yeah. Mm -hmm. By the way, I want to mention that uh, Travis and I have spoken recently, and Travis has um, um, offered to be an active participant in my overstated case oh, okay. uh, in emergency management. So would be he would yeah. definitely be a key player for us. Yeah. Um, who has copies of the emergency management plan? The, the yeah, paper copy is in a file uh, in the town office. office. It's on the website and, too, isn't it? And it's uh, on the website. Yeah. You know what? I have a recommendation for you. Mm. I think everyone whose telephone number is in there should have a paper copy. Oh. Think okay. about it. If there's an emergency and the power goes out, there's no way. Right. You start calling people and ask them to call people, they're going to say, well, what's their telephone numbers? Yeah, right. yeah. I've been through this in another city. Really? And so, yeah, and a paper copy. I agree. Mm -hmm. Really, they, <laughs> or, or you provided that the people can find the paper copy when they need it. Yeah. Well, and here, so here, put it somewhere where they can find it in the dark. Here's a thought: you could send it to them electronically and ask them to respond to you that they have printed it. Yeah. That's an excellent. And chase really. them. <laughs> yeah. and, to, rather than sending it in paper. And, and just the thing, though, too, is oh, some people don't have a printer. I'm thinking of one of our select board members. Doesn't have it. Doesn't print anything. So if somebody That's needs it, then doesn't have a printer. He doesn't have one. He literally doesn't have one. No. Uh, well, I'll print one for him. Um, they. My recommendation would be is if you say in that email, if you need a printed copy. Please contact the town office, and I'm sure they'll print it out. Yeah. Well, one of the things we talk about. I've yeah. been through this, and you know, like a hurricane comes through, we lose power, we lose everything, and you want to <coughs> maybe, just maybe, we have telephone. Maybe. And, maybe. And with telephone, you start calling people, and or you go to their house, and you say, "I need you to." get the following people, and it's really nice if someone's got the telephone. That's a very 20th century idea, but I'm one yeah. of favorite. In fact, the town of Bethel, one of the things that they have set up in their emergency team is uh, somebody's maintaining a, a mimeograph machine. Is that because, right? Oh. So that's, you know, the so internet is down, and then the telephone is down, and wow. down, and Great. they have a team of people on bicycles. That is redundancy. And so, uh, wow. You can, well, one of the things Nick and I have talked about, too, is get, taking this farther and getting, you know, getting that core team of people, you know, together periodically once a year. So you're really familiar with, you know, you know what you're doing is it, it, usually a disaster, especially something that really knocks out infrastructure. You've got to have... That can happen. Yeah, then you, you know, if you've got a core team that kind of have well-defined tasks and then if you know, some alternatives for communication. You, you, the key is to be able to reach out and bring in other resources quickly, and so it's connectivity. Mm -hmm. so I think, you know, mainly it's knowing what you're supposed to do, having it in a, what you need to do has to be very manageable, and, you know, you can't be overloaded with a lot of decisions. You've got to be very disciplined about these structures with them, and you can really be effective. Has Calus ever done a drill? I think that Toby told me that they once did a tabletop show. Yeah, we did. Uh, a long time yeah. ago. And we've asked Harry Schiff. Yeah, who yeah was he was going to schedule something. The young guy. Yeah. And he, we had it on the calendar, and then he had to cancel because they got very busy with the hospitalization yeah. pandemic. Mm -hmm. And he said, um, let's shoot for April, and then I haven't heard back from anybody. So it would be good. We we're, yeah, we're probably not going to happen in April. Yeah, I they're, they're just. just Probably not going to happen in April, but it, I yeah. think I think it'd be fascinating. I've never been part of an emergency. Right. So it's great to yeah. I, mean, I, would, just been I would suggest that this kind of thing that you think about. There should be a core team of people, mm -hmm. maybe ten, who know without being called what? that if there's a major emergency, there is a place that they all go to to meet to meet, 
And that's the place that's command headquarters. And they, no one has to call anyone. I mean, we don't have cell reception. And I think phones we already are have down. That, don't we? Phones are down. Yeah. Yeah, we already have that. I think Denise, Toby, uh, and now Travis. Uh, us. But it'd be good to make sure that everybody. Where is it? The town office. Yeah. The town office is probably not bad. It's higher. Right. Um, We'll have five or seven too. Yeah, and also it's a place where it should be a place where there's a general out of out of town people like the state mm -hmm. who are trying to reach us know they can send someone. I don't know where they are. Well, I mean that's the other thing. Does anyone accept us have this emergency plan? It's the state of Vermont emergency management. Right. Yeah. And well, it might want to say where that place is. It does. It does. It does. It does. Yeah. We got it covered, Mark. It's in the and I promise you, it's in the folder now. Yeah. Okay. Great. That's all. I, um, it looks like it's been thought through. Well, that's why they tie funding and things to these. They want to make sure they've got the basic information mm -hmm. and contacts. You know, that's what this is all about. BEM is pretty organized about emergency response. That's what. So they are. You know, this is how they bring it. Yep. By the way, I'll mention one more thing. Uh, we have uh, something we're subscribed to something we the towns called a government emergency uh, communication G E T S uh, telecommunication oh, yes. service. Denise, I found mine. Is subscribed um, as is John Brabant, now Travis and Toby and me. But I'd like to get you subscribed and right. you subscribe. Yeah, we've got to do that. Right. So you're going to be getting something, an email from me in the next week about this. Okay, sure. Okay. It, what it does is um, it puts, when you make a call using this special pin, it bumps your call to the front of the queue uh -huh. and reminds your to be on Which they, which they, grandma, yeah. are you okay? I, I lived through the 1989 earthquake in San Francisco. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. The tweet, uh, the 20s, just so people know too, there is actually a, a day, it's what, May 26th or May 28th, uh, down in Fairley, there's a whole day long mm -hmm. uh, training. I'm going to go down. Is that Lake okay. It's Lake Maury. Yeah, yeah Lake Maury. you can register for that. Um, I'll send an email if you want. Yeah, that's. Okay. Yeah, I got it. Um, yeah. Yeah, we're, if you want to go down together, we can. When it, May 6th? 26. No, 26, 26. So 26 or 28, one yes. of the two, right? It's one of the... I forget so what date. Uh, I think it's a 26. I can yeah. send you the link, and you can register through the, the LMS system that the state has, and you don't have to be a state employee. You can create an LMS account. Don't know. I might... I might. Do I need to... Sure. I think it'd be fascinating. I, I it is. It's really interesting. It's very good. Uh, do we want to um, adopt... The plan. Yes, I would. Is there a motion to adopt the plan? I would so move. Check it. Any, uh, and can we just authorize Nick to go ahead and submit this with my little auto on it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks very much. Uh, well, well, I haven't done it yet. Oh, any other motions? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Thanks, Thanks, Nick. Thank you, Nick. Thanks, Nick. Nick, can I ask a question? Sorry, I didn't get, you said you were going to send an email to board members to provide information about oh just this that. last thing uh, yeah. it's the um, Vermont emergency management annual conference no, no you're talking no, about the, you're uh, talking about the gets oh the gets I'm going to send you an email with all of that information that's perfect yeah. Yeah. Lisa, okay. yeah. everything you just said you can Lisa yeah. can put okay. 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 Send her a, a okay. couple of paragraphs yeah okay. just, let's you have to I don't I'll get I'll I'll send you her email okay. yeah okay Thank you, Nick. No, thank you. Would you mind if we put you on the town website as our recording secretary, just so people can find you for that reason? Yeah, no, I'm that, Is that a Jeremy thing? Yeah, I'll, let me ask Jeremy. Is that okay? Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. Here, do it. I'll let you write down what you're going to do and not be too much I can look at that. No, we're going to talk next. Great. Oh. Okay, so next up is the ARPA stuff. Um, and you saw the information that I sent around about ARPA. I have been doing ARPA for since even 2021. Read you yeah. read it? I I'm read honored. It. <laughs> I'm actually honored that you, John, read it because he asked me to do it. Yeah, John's technical. 
I have, I have lots of questions I don't understand, you know. I mean, I wrote it technical? No, no not me. It's just so technical. I'm ready for one of those sound bars. No. What is what is what is this? Andy you, Andy you, County Martin. Hey, County. hang on. Let's okay. just make her motion. Okay, so um, want to start with the motion? Yeah, let me get the motion. Where did I put it? That, that is not street. somebody took a bite, right? No, it's yeah. a Tory. <laughs> they did. <laughs> Where did oh, here we go. Okay, <laughs> so I move that the town of Callis make the one-time irrevocable, irrevocable blah, 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 decision to elect the standard allowance approach for our Arbor Award in the amount of $477.36 to spend on the provision of government services throughout the period of the performance of the grant. And I can hand this to Lisa if she wants to. Yes. You need a second. Yeah, I need a second. I second. Great. Okay. Why don't you why don't you speak to your memo and Mark can get some of those questions answered. Okay. I seconded Lisa. So. Okay. So back in May of twenty one I started following all the fun ARPA details and attended I can't even tell you how many webinars and documents and you guys all know I ask a lot of questions, so I've asked a lot of questions. Um, and it started out, it was going to be really hard to have any project or any money from ARPA that would cover certain things. So through the course of the last year, um, the federal government must have had a second thought and has made the uses of the ARPA funds a lot more flexible. Um, the reporting requirements are far out, as you could see in my note about um, when we have to do reporting, I have to do have to double check the dates on those, but that's fairly close. Um, so, CVRPC and VLCT, the last training or last webinar I went to, which I think last week, <coughs> both entities have thoroughly reviewed and discussed and asked questions of the federal government about the funds, and there's this one time option called the standard allowance, and that's what I'm recommending that the board that we do um, for that large amount of money. And they're, they're just recommending that it's the easiest one to implement, to keep track of the reporting requirements, mm -hmm. um, but we have to do this by April 30th. <coughs> we have to elect the standard. We have to elect the standard, standard. option. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Back in May of 2021, we, we signed up for the ARPA funds, and that's why we have gotten this far. This far. Um, and the, the, the amount is public, right? Oh, yeah. You just said for the amount. So. Well, that was the, the amount's in my motion. No, I know. I just, people watching our movie yeah. will wonder. Right. Oh, the, the total is $479,477.36. And the NEU stands for non-entitlement units. Whatever that means. Whatever that means. So the state got the state got a glob of money. And they then, depending on how many your per capita, you get so much money per person. The county got a glob of money, and they then had to divide it up. Washington County got this bucket of money. And they then had to do the same thing and divide it up and send it to the towns because Vermont does not have county government. Right. So what? And so what the feds found out it was this. It's limited. It, We're what, the, what the feds found out when people started saying we don't have county government, they had to figure out a plan to get the county money to the, to to the towns. Mm -hmm. So that's what these larger amounts of money are. So county one and county two are slugs of money the county's allocating to us. Right. And NEU and NEU two are monies that have been directly allocated by the state. Right. Us. So, so far we've received NEU one and county one. And the, the deadline I've heard is the end of August of this year for us to receive these NEU two, county two mm -hmm. amounts of money. And that's where you get the total. Mm -hmm. 
And we have not, when you say received, Denise, we don't actually have money in our wallets yet, right? Oh, yeah, we do. We do. So it's sitting in a... a yep. And then, and so then the other piece that you said, but I want to say it again because we want to make sure people understand, the timeline, there's, there's a, we have a period of time, not short, we have quite a bit of time to decide how we're going to allocate or spend this money. Right. And there's a number of steps that we have to take in that process of deciding. We don't have to take any steps. We, can we don't decide. have to, but, 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 but I mean, there's some recommendations. For good governance, we should engage the public. Mm -hmm. um, I've been doing some research on different surveys that different towns have done. CBRPC can help with, with a survey. I think it, we should do some kind of a survey um, right. okay. and get public input. We also have had, as I listed here, um, and this is a public document, mm -hmm. we've had requests come in for funds. CV Fiber was the first. And they would, you know, they had originally asked for all of our money. Um, and we kind of said, well, let's see what else yeah, there might be. Yeah. So, you know, none of this stuff is huge. And one of the things on my list was a generator for here. But if we can get FEMA money for that and not have to spend this ARPA money, that would be better. Well, let's look at that. That's a, we don't know that yet. Right. So that's just, but we don't have yeah. to make any decision on spending any of this money. Tonight. Until 2023, mm -hmm. so we're not going to make a decision tonight. Right. I just wanted to put it out there on the radar because this April 30th deadline is coming up, and I would like to go in and select for Callis the standard allowance if the if we all are vote in favor of that. And you said in your memo, Denise, but I didn't hear you say it out loud that choosing the standard allows op allowance option is strongly suggested and encouraged by both CVRPC and Vermont League of Cities and Towns and both of those organizations have advised small towns there's no downside. There's no reason to right. not Yeah, I said side. most I did say most of that, but they're they, they're saying there's no downside and they're encouraging, suggesting, pushing towns to use the standard allowance. It's the best one in their mind. We're certainly not going to, if you were getting $10 million, you wouldn't be able to take the standard allowance. Right. I don't think there's any place in Vermont that's getting $10 million. Maybe Burlington, but I don't even know about Burlington. Um, so anyways, that's my recommendation. This is a one-time irrevocable decision. So once we take this allowance, we can't change our minds. And I don't know why we would. And that's the one thing we do have to do on a timeline, which is right, right away. So any questions? Comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, thank Aye. you. Good. And that's, you just go Can in you, and you push buttons? Yeah. Okay. Can you give this to pass that down to Lisa so she has the warning of the motion? Yes. Thank you. Okay. That's good. It's yes. been really educational. Okay, so we are now on the treasurer and delinquent tax collector action item. I did not find, I sent you guys an email late in the day, you probably didn't see it. Hi Travis, don't forget to, Thanks, Travis. Don't forget to call me about the flower. You got it. Uh, I, I could not find, I found the memo where we talked about the things that Nemrick can do mm -hmm. and the price, but I didn't find like a thing that we signed. Oh, yeah, I've got it. I remember we talked about this Nemrick contract because that's how we came to agree on what we pay Sandra. Um, can you just circulate that and yeah. everybody look at it since that's what you guys want us to approve tonight? Yes. I think it might have. I think I might have put it in. Um, I searched folder. Nemrick, but that is. I might have put it in the treasurer folder. Maybe. I don't. I don't remember. I'll just say that I don't remember. Oh, so what I captured in the minutes it said one hundred and forty-five is incorrect. So we want to note that correction just out loud. Okay, let's 
So noted. Yeah. Yeah, hundred it's hundred and ten. That's which the minutes for which one of the ones I think last the last week, meeting. The last week, meeting we, March twenty eighth. Yeah. Okay. We had a hundred I wrote down hundred and forty five, but it says it's hundred and ten. So will you go in and fix that in the minutes? No, we'll just we Lisa will capture it as a correction in that minutes. we're noting okay. tonight. Unless we want to reopen those minutes. I could make a note. I could just make a little asterisk note. Who's going to be mad if I did that? I think it would help to be clear. Yeah. Okay, I'll do that. Can you explain more what I'm talk, what talking about? Could you change an amount from something to 100? Okay, so, so there's an organization called NEMRIC, which is, stands for... New England Municipal Resource Center, N-E-M-R-C. Okay. And they, <clears throat> they've actually, over time, provided a lot of services to us having to do with financial services. We have here town treasurer, and so they are going to take over payroll. They sent us a letter saying they would do that on an hourly basis at a rate of 110, whatever it is, a special, special for you. Mm -hmm. Special for Callis. What was the rate? It's in the letter. 110 instead of 145. Okay. $110 per hour. <clears throat> and what's ambiguous is whether that was ever approved. We all knew about it, but I'm not sure it was approved. And we need to we need to ratify that. Right. We they are to. working, so we need to ratify that contract or that. Which Denise has. Uh, Denise and Mark have signed on. We have signed. So we want it. So now we're sort of backfilling and say yes. We we're glad they right. signed it. I apologize. We. I no, somehow sorry. thought we had authorized. Yeah, I make a motion to be happy that Denise and Mark have signed the Nemert contract that is now in place. I second. Thank you. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Can you make sure this is in maybe tonight's folder? Sure. Thank you. I yeah, didn't want to right. say. Well, um, maybe I'll. If, or just, if it's just if there's a Nemert folder, maybe I'll put it. So I'll wait until night so we have a complete, yeah, I'll complete thing for I might tonight. put it in a couple places. That's yeah, fine. Yeah. We're done with the season. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This, is, this is reacting to a fairly emergency situation. But yeah. I do want to say that Denise, I kind of went to a really good meeting with Jeremy and Sandra. Mm -hmm. And Emmerich got on the phone with a really, again, an amazingly cooperative woman mm -hmm. and kind of worked out all the details of what you had in your plan in the last meeting. Right. I mean, remember we, yep. we went through a plan. There's no significant departure from that plan. No. Yeah. I would like to commend uh, Jeremy publicly because Jeremy is writing, literally printing out, writing, and sending, and signing. He's not writing them. He's not writing them. He's you, just, you, you put the check paper in the printer, Nemer hits print, they print, and then he has to sign them. That's one of the he other signs. things. And then that's one of the other things we need to do is to add Jeremy as a signer. Right. So Jeremy signs them and on this the is something that he's doing above the yeah, Right. Okay. Sa Sandra has agreed to work, continue to work while we advertise and look, and she's coming up on the Fridays. Yeah, that's all in the memo. And that's really good. And mm -hmm. Denise has taken on the, uh, someone has to approve the time cards. The time, card, yeah. right. the time cards come in, it's not like actually second guessing the time cards, particularly the work crew, the it's road crew, work is that, that, that job is, is, is up to Alfie, but did, sometimes there are addition mistakes, stuff like that. That's what Sandra and said. has taken yeah, that sure. on, and I want to probably really recognize that. I think that's great. And so what you're saying for Lisa's benefit, I'm just looking at the notes that we captured because we... Is that from the 28th, you mean? Yes, but the memo that you're talking about, we, we handled it in executive session right. because, we can say out loud now, because we were thinking we would ask Jeremy if he would be willing to help and we didn't, that was a personnel related right, thing. Right, right. So, so what you're now noting, so that we can capture for tonight's minutes, is that Jeremy is printing the... The right. So, yeah, it's in this memo. Um, Tuesday afternoons, Jeremy put the paper, the check paper in the printer, print the checks, sign them, and mail them. Now, do we need? That's the point. Do we need to authorize that? We authorized. 
we authorized you guys to move forward and put in place a, a plan, but we didn't say out loud entirely what it was because of... We didn't know what it was yet. Is it well, we didn't know if it, Jeremy would think it was a good idea. Right. <laughs> like okay, we well, through the chair. Right. Is it sufficient that it was in the plan, we're now reporting back to you what's happening, is it sufficient that the board, that the select board simply say great and leave it at that or do I, we need a motion and i don't think we need a motion because we already did approve the plan right. and we said that last week but i want to now say out loud what, what that plan included great. so I'm so sorry, jeremy, interrupted you. You were so jeremy is printing checks mm -hmm. denise is reviewing reviewing time cards not to second guess but to check just check the math check the math that's what it is uh and there oh and jeremy is we are we probably should have a motion to make jeremy a signer on bank yeah. Checks? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we need to, yeah, at, at the top of this memo, um, we need to ratify authorization for Jeremy to be a signer on the bank accounts, and then a motion confirming the signing of the NEMREC contract. We did the we signing. Did right. the we we did just that. did that, but but let's have a, okay, so, so we moved, need a motion, move, a motion. That, it's not a ratify. We, I, I think it's a new yeah, motion. I move that Jeremy be as, uh, approved as a signer on the bank accounts. Okay, second. second. Any other discussion on that? No. All in favor, aye. Uh, aye. Lisa, you got all the other stuff I was writing on Okay, aye. and in the memo, I, I laid out what Sandra's doing, what Nemrick's doing, what mm -hmm. I'm doing. Um, the delinquent tax sale is moving forward, the one that the board approved on mm -hmm. um, December 27th. I have placed ads for the treasurer position with the agreed upon bonus in all of the places listed at the bottom. And this memo that Denise is referring to is in the folder, and we need to move all this stuff into a public folder. Yeah. 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 So, so this is all public. Yeah, now it is. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So we're just trying to keep the town afloat while we're still looking for looking a treasure. Hopefully, getting some inquiries. I haven't gotten any yet. Whew. But it just sort of was in seven days, is probably one of our best. Bets and it was in last week on the sixth, and it'll be in again this week. Um, and we'll just keep spreading the word and we, until we get somebody. And hope that Sandra will. She agreed to stay on through the month of April. I'm hoping if we need her to, she'll stay on longer. She's going to be new college sure. grads pretty soon. Mm -hmm. Okay, right, so that's that it on, on that, that one. Yep. Okay. I think we need to send her. Yeah. Good night, Nick. Good night, Nick. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I'd like to go through and get our heads kind of looking forward to our next two meetings. We have regularly scheduled meetings on Monday the 25th and on Monday, May 7th. And you are gone on May 7th? I'm here, I'm gone on the 25th. I'm here on the 7th and I'm gone for a month. You're gone on April 25th? Yes. yes. Mark, or uh, Rick, are you here on May 7th? My birthday? Yeah, That's your birthday. Does that mean you're here yeah, celebrating with us? I don't remember. I don't know why I remember your birthday. But it's okay, right. so you're Personal you're birthday. you're going on the 25th. I'm going on the 25th. Oh, yeah, I'm going on the 25th. I got to look at you. Then I'm back, and then I'm gone from May 10th through June 4th. And I think, as I wrote you all, mm -hmm. I don't think I'll probably be able to attend meetings because right. I'm in Europe at yeah. the time. I'm just, you know, but... Later in the summer, I'm gone again twice to Maine, but I can attend meetings. Right? If we have you do it remotely, you yeah, I can do. You know, I can. I rather than try to do Zoom, is just put the speaker phone. Yeah, that's what yeah, we were talking about tonight for John. Yeah. Okay, so we have the right of way um, application from Jerry Parton on Quarry Road, the Chiburo, and mm -hmm. if somebody knows how to say that name for sure. I just say it Chiburo. I don't know how you really say it. I don't. We. I, we will probably find out. <laughs> Those I have, and these are in the folder for the 25th. We have a curb cut application that Denise and I have both worked on that we think we can have ready. It's another of that. It's a revised application. For We never had, oh. It's a revised, we have a curb cut application now. Oh, right, it is a revised. This is, this is a revised that kind of, you, you can know, check boxes. This is the difference between what you're talking about and I'm talking about. I'm talking about not the townsperson's application for curb cut. I what I put in the folder is a review sheet for Alfred. 
Oh, see, I, I was working on the application, but this is good though. They, they should dovetail. Yeah. We should make yeah. sure. Okay. No, that's good because then we have two brand new documents. Right, so basically creating a form for Alfred so that he can document compliance with current right. yeah. standards yeah. and yeah. Yeah. bring okay. it that's to good. us. Okay, yeah. so hopefully, hopefully that will be, there's no reason I would think we can't have that done, you and I, Denise. Yeah. Uh, again, for the 25th, just so it can be done because it's been out there for a bit. And it's uh, coming up to curb cut season. And we're coming into curb cut season. Uh, April 25th, <coughs> Denise. Friends, can this, where is this? Remind us where this is okay. and whether it can be ready on the 25th or should we move it? Um, I th friends we're talking have, about the friends, friends, of, friends of the town hall have a management yeah. agreement and rental schedule. And you remember because of COVID, we didn't push it because we weren't using the town hall, we weren't using the upstairs. I think the way things are right now, unless we get like Shanghai, um, you know, we're ready to make the space available. It's, you know, been right. available for two years. It's a beautiful space. The friends are anxious. They've done um, another draft, if you remember, maybe a year. Was it Has a it year, been a year? Ago? It might be. It might have been because it was like this kind of weather out. And we had some issues with the insurance. agreement and insurance. They have found an insurance carrier. <coughs> Um, so I'd like to have them send us the agreement to review so that we can review it prior to the meeting. Can everybody yes, make yeah. sure they review it? The question I have is, um, Cliff is not available to come in person and he wondered if we would make an exception and he could do it by Zoom. Sure. Um, he could set up his own Zoom and just for that one piece of the meeting. I think it would be better for him to try to do that over Zoom than to try to do it by phone. And do you have any idea when <clears throat> that management agreement would be available? I think he's got it ready. I just need to give him the word to, you to send it. If you would ask him to send it to me, I will give you guys any comments I have on it since I won't be at the meeting. Yes, that would be great. Yep. Okay. And everybody's okay if he sets up the Zoom and all we have to do is log in. Right. Are are we going to use the owl in the whole bit? I think we'll just do yeah, it. Just yeah, just, just play on Zoom. It would just be him. So, right? it's just going to be him. Okay. Are you going to set that up? Yeah, I'll set it up. Okay. Way. Denise will set up that Zoom. And how many, how long do we think we want? Well, I know what can you know if people have read the document ahead of time and made comments, it'll go oh smoother God. and faster. If people haven't, which I still think it'll be a half an hour. I think it's going to be a half an hour. 30, yeah. That sounds yeah. reasonable. I think minutes. that's reasonable. There'll be discussion. And the curb cuts. What do you think, 15? That's what I'm thinking, 15 minutes. If we can get you the documents ahead of time. They're there. They're all in the folder now for next meeting. Can okay. I ask you guys a question? No, oh, not the oh, one I have. Uh, the right, I'm talking about the right of way permits. Right, not the one, not the curb cut stuff. Right, the curb cut stuff can also be... That can be even 10 minutes if you and I have it all cleaned up and it's in the folder for people to look at. I think, think you got to say 15. Is Alfred going to have input? There's We're going to have to do it underneath the road commissioner update. All right, we'll do a 15 minutes and Rick, maybe you can connect with that and make sure Alfred's seen it ahead of time. Good. Can I ask you a quick question? And mm -hmm. it, it's supportive of things like this. Should it, I'd look into, on the website, actually creating a location under highway for like things like curb cuts and we could put the B seventy one standard in there. But there like is, the very basic that's already in the that's curb. already there. It's I'm in the curb cut. Tall. This curb cut materials is a hyperlink. Yeah. Okay. Right. And right. I put the B seventy one standards and it's all in. Yeah. Okay. All in there. Um, we do need well that's another subject to talk about. I okay, so and so we think all of these things can be ready for the twenty fifth. We can do our best, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Denise, task for a well-functioning board is the Denise Glitz. That's my next project. I was your working on all list. these other ones. So. That's your list, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. your list. So you want me to connect with Alfred on the documents that you and Denise are working on, right? The to review. We yes. And you should look at them. Yeah. Yes. No, I'll go through them with them. Yeah. Yes. So, but yeah. So the two. Documents. What are they called? I mean, such well, as well. We there's a checklist, and then there's the. We should probably device. get together. Let's compare calendars. Wait until you get something from us because there, 
Denise hasn't looked at what I worked on, and I haven't looked at what she worked on. And we, and it sounds like a, it's good that we each did, but we need to make sure they go together. Right. Okay, so a couple or th speaker. So, um, well, select more email protocol. So we have this problem of all of us like piling onto an email. So <laughs> Is this an issue we're going to discuss now, or an issue? Well, I just want to yeah. just n note that that if we can all, if if somebody sends us something like today, Denise said thank you for a bunch of stuff, so thank you for saying thank you, and then nobody else said thank you, which is good. Because I have to open an email to see what it says, and if it just says thank you, I'm like scared of all this whole list. And only one thank you is not sufficient. Well, I'm, yeah. I'm trying to be selective. Right. You and Mark. If yeah. It's something that uh, you know I'm not trying to blow yeah. everybody else out of the water. Yeah. Right or I talk to Denise if I know. I think just I, I mean I'm just going to keep urging us to be aware that we all you know when I open the email and there's a whole stack of black email it scares me so if we can be just judicious I mean we want to be fully communicative but don't send emails that are mm -hmm. redundant uh, or that not everybody needs to see it. Yeah, that, that's really, that's, I think it's just an awareness thing. And I do think that it's getting better. I feel like I have, I feel like there's less, um, I, and this may be Denise is where you were in a head a second ago, and I want to say what I did today, this afternoon, I set up a folder for next meeting for the 25th. Inside of that folder, oh, the highway documents that, high, that, they, um, that Toby asked us for, uh, those annual roads yeah, approval, annual. are those, they're all in there now. There's a highway right. folder those, those. in the next meetings folder now. Good. So, so and wanted. this all stuff Toby gave us, he said it's totally routine. It's pro forma, yeah, we just yeah, need is. to approve it for. So is that even B consent trans. agenda? It's, it seems like yeah, it's, we can do that it's not consent. something yeah. we can, we don't, yeah, it can be. We can be consent, consent agenda. Okay, yeah. so, so that can be on. consent agenda? We yeah. do it every year. Okay, yeah. so those documents are all in that folder already. The other thing that I believe I set up in that folder is a, here's a thought, now tell me what you think of it. I was thinking, because we have this problem of, we don't know, we, we, we have a list of items that we want to get to, some are waiting or some we just haven't had a chance, so, and there's materials that go, there's the, the, we got an email from Jan on the planning grant stuff. Um, I put that stuff in a future items folder that lives inside April 25th. So I thought, well, if, if things are coming in that we know we're going to deal with and we don't really know when, if in each, if I just create a folder inside of the meeting folder that says here's future items, at least folks will have a place where I can I can dump things in there. We can park stuff in there. I can park stuff in there and then Or any of us can put stuff in there, right? Anybody can put stuff in there and then we can just move that folder forward. Well, that's what I was gonna ask. Can we just move it to the next we can I can move that folder forward for each when the meeting's over I can move that folder forward. It'll be a parking spot for future items. So instead of digging mm -hmm. through email, that was I've thought about crying this afternoon digging through my email. But if we park things in a folder for future items, then we all know where it is. We can all access it. We can all put stuff in there. We're mm -hmm. not. That's another way to reduce email. And then yes, and then and I then can, we won't forget to put something. And then I can move that media. That that folder can just keep moving forward. Yeah, that um, works for me. That it's something to try. Yeah, I think we should try and, that. And as long as everybody's able and comfortable accessing. The Gmail folders and putting stuff in and there. In the Google folders. In the Google, Google folders. Yes, yeah. And then that, then that is. And that's everybody's responsibility to. Okay, I'm going to try to see if I can do it. Just so I can do it. If you, if you, I can help you. Yeah, we can help you. We all struggled through this a few years yeah. ago. Uh, okay, so we have the tip, the roads for the consent agenda. Do we want to talk about Denise? Can I put your glue list for May 7th? Yes. Okay. There's an issue that isn't on here that... I have no doubt. What is it? I know it's going to come up, I'm just, and I'll be talking to Denise about it and John, which is Curtis Pond. Okay. 
that's going to come to us. The reason well, is... Well, don't we have a meeting in May? We do. Mm -hmm. But the reason is that we asked Denise and John, or Denise was in a meeting. Yeah, John was, wasn't there. Yeah, John wasn't there. He was ill at the time. Yeah, he was. He was yeah. sick. He had, he had COVID. In which we essentially said, we really need to know. It turns out we have a complete 200 and some page permit at, which was put together by Du Bois and King in 2013. Yep, 2013. It's amazingly complete. And so we essentially asked the Du Bois and King, Jeff Tucker, to please put together a draft proposal. What it would take to update that and file it. And he, Tucker, has been in contact with the state and he owes us that proposal this week. Okay. So this week, we will know, and it will come to Denise. I don't want the whole board, I want to respect that there's a, there's a liaison, mm -hmm. and I'm just speaking as a citizen at the moment. <laughs> there is a liaison, and the liaisons are going to get this thing, right, so and John and we will know what it's going to cost. And there's a certain amount of money parked in the, that the, 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 this, the committee has. The committee's asked for $30,000 from ARPA. ARPA, but really, it's going to be up to us. At, at that point, it'll be ready for us to talk about. In the, the... Do we file a permit? Do okay. we hire Du Bois and King? Do we file it and to mm -hmm. push the permit through? So you are going to have an update or a, will there be an action, do you think? There will be an action on, on, but I don't on know. April 25th? Oh. Uh, no, no. I mean, it's it's going to be May, it May could 7th, be right? May, in May, May 7th. May 7th. When's the meeting in May, though? The meeting that we're supposed to be having at March is on the 15th, oh, right? The 3rd. Of April? The 3rd. The 3rd. Oh, the May. 7th May. is, yeah, 7th is our meeting. So the 3rd is really... I have it on my calendar. Yeah. Th all right, so May 3rd, so yeah. we'll put a, unless you guys think through it and realize now that... The, May 7th is, our, is the meeting that is the our select meeting. board. Yeah. And... Okay, well, we can figure this out yeah. because we're going to need somebody from the group to come in. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And not only that, I'll be here. You'll be, You'll be here on May 7th. Okay. That's right. To testify. That's right. Okay. Uh, speed carts, I think, could be a May 7th topic, but I well, think... what do we need to talk about? Why can't we just put them out? Well, I want to talk about them. Maybe nobody else does. Okay. Because... If you want to talk about them. <laughs> If you want to talk about them, that's, that's enough. Put it on the agenda at some point. Yeah. Okay. I think that you're now far enough ahead that you should, and you don't have to sign date, dates yet. But, yeah. Right. I just want to, yeah. So that, I, but that is a, we are at a season where that is a topic. It starts coming up. Yeah. It already, I mean, it already does. Yeah. Right. Um, it, it's picking up on two or three meetings ago. Well, and I also want to talk about in relation to that is one of those um, signs like we have in Maple Corner and East Callis. Permits. A permanent. Exactly. A permanent sign. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm, it was a very confusing conversation last time we talked about it with Alfred and I want to, I want to spend more time getting clear. Clarity. Because this, it, because when you, t when you're talking with speed card, I'm thinking about the one that we can move around. Me too. I would like to see just a, a permanent sign. I think he's callous, okay. especially okay. going Okay, we're talking these. about it now. Okay. That's right. Mark so, is reminding us but can not we, to do that. But can we put, instead of just saying speed carts, can we add permanent, speed, permanent, speed signs. Yeah. Speed permanent, signs, speed what are they, what are they, what are they, what are they called? Just call them traffic calming, electronic speed. Permanent speed, yeah. electronic thingamajigs. Speed warnings. Right. Maybe that, yeah, that's, maybe, maybe just language is part of what was so confusing to me. Mm -hmm. And electronic and permanent. The, you know, they're the ones like you have in Maple Corner and East Callis, the permanent ones. That could be part of what is confusing. Yeah, we should have a mix. I felt like we were talking in circles, but maybe that's Yeah, why. we were, because... Okay. Yeah, anyway. Okay. Uh, yes, yeah, so other things are good for now. Um, yeah, I mean, they're pretty soft. So I yeah. So now, so this is going to... This is a work in progress, and it leads into what we've just talked about. But now I just want to go around the room and say... Um, ask each of you, have we got 
is everything that's on your mind on these lists? What's on your mind? Or is there something else that you heard about this week that you want to make us all aware of? And I'll turn to my left for a change. Mark. Can I, can I, before you move on, yep. the first thing that I wrote for May 7th was Denise's task list. Task. 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 Okay, thanks. Yeah, I call it glue. That's what I thought you said glue. I did what say glue. Mean? Okay. We know what we mean. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Mark. So now I'm on the round robin. Right. Old business, other business, things you heard, future things that we should have on our minds. I think that comes under, also under agenda items. Uh, <clears throat> That's what I'm saying. They yeah. kind of lead together. Yeah, they kind of go together. And Mark raised the Curtis Pond Dam. Yeah, I don't have yeah. anything else. Mark, anything that we haven't already hit on that you Yeah, I do want to bring back. Now? We need to, you know, I want to check the status on this on the stormwater project because that's a big thing. Oh, that's right. East California. So we want to keep project. that. Okay. When do you want that on? Uh, let's, let's touch base. I'm going to be checking base, our touching base with them this week. So I'm let's gonna just put, I'm going to put a stormwater 25th. update. The update. Let's call uh, out. Just do it a brief. April 25th. Give me five, <laughs> just five or 10 minutes. Yep. Five minutes. Really? Right. You promise? Yes. You know, every time, time I say it's going to take five minutes. She yeah. says it, it, nothing can take whatever. No, yeah. but I do I do <clears throat> think that what Denise did to put her comments in writing, in my experience, per speaking personally, when I have to put it in writing first, it gets my head clear on what needs to be well, said. Oh yeah, terrific. Denise, it, it would have I don't know how long it would have taken. It's a great memo, so right? that Rick, even if you want to just shoot an email, I can move it into the folder. As, and then we can speak to it. Okay, anything else in your mind? Uh, let's see, just the, uh, the definitely want to get back on the stick on the, the, the town, the, uh, the speed limit, but we've the got that, it's already yeah. there, so the county You and I just have to make a plan to meet to yeah. talk about it. Yeah, 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 I mean, what we... And I, I think we said it during the meeting, did we say during the meeting how great the website on roads is? The updates oh, it's wonderful. You're doing a great job. Thank you for great doing that. Great job. Yeah, Thank let you. me know. I'm trying to expand that out. I mean, hopefully on. when mud season stops, you won't have to update it every week. I won't. Well, right. I'll do it probably weekly, you know, but we'll do a little different. We'll do some educational things on it and mm -hmm. it'll give weekly updates. It won't be that much, though. Yeah. Because it'll no, be it's great. Basic. I think. Well done. I, I think. Cheers to you. Yes. Well, we'll just, we've got it. If we get the people in the habit of using it, then. Mm -hmm. When things happen, they'll know to go right there. <coughs> oh, and I oh, well, go ahead, Denise. Uh, do you have anything that? Um, oh, by the way, I want to say thanks to Jeremy. Can I? Who oh, should I, I contact? The, the other can I contact Katie or what? what? Actually, Lone, I, I feel really bad every day for going to Jeremy. He's Happy one of our web people. He's he one is, of the, he, but he's, he's a, a busy web boy. So do he's we, a webmaster. Katie's a webmaster. Can I go to Katie? Is there um, a, let me check with Katie to make sure she still wants to be a webmaster. I don't. Last time I talked to her, she did. Um, it's an easy post. I just right. to I think go ahead. Time. I mean, she did. You reported that. Yeah. She, yeah. Go ahead. I think why. If, if I'll, she reach, wants, I'll she just reach out to her myself. Know if she doesn't want to do yeah, I mean that was on her an email she sent a while ago about what she would continue to do. Yeah. And then I did check with her one time. So yeah, just send them to Katie. You know. Okay. Let us know. I do have one more thing, but Denise, you go ahead if you have anything. The only thing I, when we have, when we have fully staffed and Jeremy's not doing a hundred other things that he doesn't really have to do. Um, I want us to look at the website because if you go onto the website and you try to find um, the, oh, it has to do with zoning. It's stuff is like, my brain would say, look under zoning for such and such a thing. And it's not there. And it's somewhere under planning. And it's, it's that just, I've learned the hard way. Yeah, it's stuff is just not. Research. Stuff is just not. not so maybe good. it's not logical in my brain. So at least a web, some sort of web update. Yeah, we or need web to. Tree. So I just made a or reorganize the website. I'll drop them off. Kind of thing, and it's not urgent because it's been like this now for a while. But when we're back up, fully staffed. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I, I also I also think Barbara. Knows how to do website stuff. I'm not 100 percent sure. Her health. I'm not going to bother her now. Well, she's in the office right now. 
she's there mm -hmm. sending out memos. Yep. I know she, yes, she is. sure is. Mm -hmm. um, Wait, I got one. I mentioned it, but let me just slow down. Jan Olson sent planning commission oh, yeah. stuff to right. update the town plan. Mm -hmm. The town. When did she send that? No, it's not. It's the town. She sent it to me and Mark, and it's in the folder. It's called. This is something the rest of you. I didn't do. understand it. It's not the plan. It's called. It is shit. updates to the town not plan. plan. But it is a word for it. Bylaws. It That's does. the zoning. It's the town zoning. And it's this whole big chart. It, it of was updated. bigger than a bread box. Yeah, and she like said ignore video. the dates, which confused me. <laughs> so, so, I, so I didn't no, want to. I think that we should forward that to the it, I put it in the folder. Guys, you should look at it. The bylaws. But I want to talk to her and understand what it means. What it means. <laughs> okay, what, is, what, is, what is actually the timeline. Yeah, and what do we need? She said, what she did say uh, is she wants. She wants to, there, it's a work in progress, I think, as to the timeline, but she wants a, they're trying to position it so that it can be voted on in the November election. Right. So, well, backing up from that, anyway. Yeah, I remember talking to her about that. That okay. was, that was, she said it had been several years in, of, in the making. Mark, you had one more thing. I just want to alert people. I keep thinking that. We should be thinking about federal grants. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> There's just so much money out there right now. And I don't know how long that's going to last. Right, right. One of the major organizations that has a lot of federal money and that is getting more is NBRC. <clears throat> the what is that? The Borders Regional okay, Commission. Commission. We've got 105000 from them for the store. Um, but they have a lot of money for almost any general economic development thing. And they're getting more. And their new executive director, just approved by Congress, is Chris Saunders, oh, who good. was Lady's economic yeah. development yeah. person. Yep. And is a very great guy, very well known to me and others. And I think he's just it's, a nice guy. Yeah. And I Chris Saunders was with a and wasn't he? No. Are you talking about Tom Barry? Yeah. I'm talking about Chris Saunders. Chris, Tom, Tom Barry was, uh, he was Never an a &R. Tom Barry? Yeah, but Chris Saunders. No, no. Chris has been forever with Leahy. Callous Chris Saunders? No. No. Oh, okay. All right. Callous Chris Saunders is an a &R. Stand for that. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> um, no, God. Um, anyway, it's just, I keep thinking, my weakness is that I don't know enough where I know what all the things we might ask for. Mm -hmm. But I just feel like, well, yeah, so, but I love money to calculate trees. Well, uh, I just caution it that it should be a lot. Because mm -hmm. um, otherwise it's not worth the bookkeeping. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, hassle. the yeah, grant, and that's, that's right. what I was going to say, we just <clears> really <throat> be careful with all these grants. The administration part of it is, mean, we, can be a nightmare. Know, I, I mean, the store has, has someone working for us. We've paid them tens of thousands of dollars. To manage the, yeah. Um, to work on these grants, so. Mm -hmm. But anyway, it's out there. Mm -hmm. We just have to ask ourselves what we want to do with it. Mm -hmm. Or what we want to do, period. Yeah, yeah, what we want to do. Well, and we know we might. And that's why your capital, a spinoff of your capital budget might be that maybe there's things that we don't fund out of the capital budget, maybe we can get grants for it, you know? But I don't even know what the hell we want. Well, you know, something that might help us is when we do, if we do, an ARPA survey. Mm -hmm. You know, there might be things that people suggest that we can't really use the ARPA money for, or we don't have enough ARPA money to do it, but that could kind of be our, <clears throat> could we get a grant for this? If, People think it's a good idea, so we might get some feedback. Hey, that's a good idea. So that's that, a, and I don't know how long this is going to last, but anyway. All right. Okay. Um, Are we done? Is there a motion to uh, go into executive session? So moved. Second. Um, Second. And okay. under what? 